Imagine walking out of the house like this for lips. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I will be showing you how to achieve this simple makeup look. It's like a natural makeup look with this pop of color. So if you haven't already, please hit that button down below and subscribe. And if you wanna see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Okay guys, so today I'm gonna do things a little differently. I'm not gonna be doing eyeshadow, therefore I'm gonna be starting off with my face. Well, I'm gonna do eyeshadow, but the simplest eyeshadow ever. So I'm basically recreating a look I wore yesterday night since I was in a hurry to get ready. I had to do my makeup super quick. It's more on the natural side. By the way, I already moisturized my face and put on some lip balm, so that's already taken care of. And I also did my eyebrows. Let's just jump into the tutorial. We're gonna start off with primer, this Makeup Forever primer right here. It's the Step 1 Skin Equalizer Hydrating Primer. I honestly don't even think there's much left. Okay, yeah, there's, yeah, a lot. to foundation so i'm gonna be going in with this cc cream it's a little dirty as you can see so this is in the shade light it's from it cosmetics it is a color correcting full coverage cream with anti-aging and hydrating serum and it has an spf of 50. <music> I'm gonna grab my damp beauty blender and I'm just gonna blend it all in. For concealer, as always, my Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer in the shade Light Beige. I use this to highlight, basically. Wait, did I already say that? So this is to highlight my face. some on my eyelids just to cover up the veins up there and remember when using the sponge you always just want to Tap in the product, not rub it. So now for powder, I'm gonna use the Winky Lux Diamond Powder with this Luxie Tapered Highlighter Brush. Oh, and then you always like want to go back and just blend out the creases before putting on the powder <laughs> of my face i'm gonna be using this covergirl professional loose powder in the shade translucent fair so the powder i was using for my face a foundation powder by nyx it's actually too orange for my skin i'm not sure why i ever thought that fit my skin so 
have to go purchase a new powder. So I'm just gonna be using this translucent powder to set the rest of my face. And I'm using a crown brush. I'm gonna be using the NYC Smooth Skin. I'm sorry, backwards on the back. The NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder. It is in 720 Sunny. I actually really like this bronzer. It cost me like $3. It's a bargain, guys. So, as always, my Wet n Wild Angled Brush. the bronzer a little bit i'm gonna grab my beauty blender and go back to the winky lux powder and just put a little bit of that on <music> contour my cheeks just a little bit so i'm gonna use the pure highlight and contour palette and i'm gonna go into the shade inventor it smells like chocolate ah! so i'm gonna get a little bit and this is a crown brush as well The difference between contouring and bronzing is that when you're contouring you're trying to sculpt a part of your face like you're trying to bring that out not bring it out but i don't know okay i don't explain it but you're like you're defining it yeah that's what it is you're defining it when you're bronzing your face you're just giving your face warmth like you're just because you're not really placing it in a very specific way you're kind of just like placing it in a whole area like I do it here like kind of messy but when you're contouring you're on a specific part of the face like on my cheek i was like on a specific part of my cheek when i'm bronzing i'm kind of just like bronzing all of my cheeks so back to my powder brush and just blend all of this together <laughs> blush i'm gonna be using this no blush it's luminous silk compact blusher in the shade desert rose i got this in one of my boxy charms yeah i'm so clumsy with my favorite blush brush by real techniques Okay, so what I did yesterday, since I couldn't do my eyeshadow because I didn't have time, I grabbed my bronzer and my blending brush and I just put that all over my crease and it, it just it pulls the look together. I'm gonna use the pure bronze and brighten palette it comes with a blush a highlighter and a bronzer 
I'm just gonna be using the highlighter with my Anastasia Beverly Hills 823 brush. smaller brush I'm gonna put it on the bridge of my nose and then since this look is pretty simple I'm gonna put some on my brow bone And in my inner corner as well. I'm gonna grab my setting spray and just spray the brush. And then I'm just gonna set the face with the Elf Matte Magic Mist and Set Spray. Oh, and if you're wearing a shirt that shows your shoulders and your collarbones, what I like to do is grab my highlighter and then put some on my collarbones. And then on my shoulders as well. So for mascara, I'm going to be using the IT Superhero Mascara. So I got mascara like all around my eye. Yeah, and I just put my hand accidentally on the bottle and... I'm a mess guys. I'm gonna let you know this mess dry and then I'll remove it. So I always carry a spoolie with me because I will either comb through my lashes after I put on mascara to separate them and remove excess products or I also use it to clean off mascara when it gets on my face when I have foundation already. So I let it dry for a little bit and then I just go in and like brush it off. Magic. I do think I removed some of my highlighter on in that area and then up here I did get some up here, but I'm gonna let that dry a little more because I don't want to risk messing up my mascara right now for lips I'm gonna use some Huda Beauty products. I received this last year for my birthday or for Christmas I don't remember and I haven't used it, so kind of upset at myself for not using it after having it for so long. It brings a liquid matte lipstick, which is this one right here, in the shade Trophy Wife. Um, the lip contour, which is the lip pencil in the shade Trophy Wife as well. And then this lip strobe in the shade Shameless. I'm going to be using all three, so gonna start off with the lip contour so you can actually use these three products on their own and on top of that I'm gonna go in with the liquid matte for a lip gloss rather than a lipstick because I don't like the dry feeling but my favorite liquid lipsticks like matte lip liquid lipsticks have to be this brand Huda Beauty I love it they go on so smoothly like it feels like an oil I love them 
and they don't feel like super dry they don't get all like flaky like some do so then I'm just gonna use the lip strobe in shameless gonna clean off the mascara so I actually learned this spoolie trick from Isabel Bedoya I saw it on her Instagram one time I think it was Instagram she got mascara on her eyeshadow or her face and she used the spoolie and I was like wow that is genius so I do that like all the time now so this is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this simple makeup look. And if you haven't already, subscribe and please give this video a thumbs up. Oh, so just stay tuned for my next videos. Love you guys.